Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, I'll show you a quick tour of my air gun. This is it. This video is not about how to build one, there's plenty of videos about it. It's about how to get the electric valve working and what's the best to do. It's a weird paint job. It's done because it's used in drive in shows so it glows in the dark. It's all to, well, metric standards because we're in Europe. It's got a flashlight on it. That's the valve, bicycle valve. You can use an automated pump you use in cars. The handle on it is one that was on a saw. Just took the saw off and made it on there. Now what you see a lot in the videos is regular valves, hand operated ones. Problem with that is you have to open it by hand. It's never as quick as with an electric one. So you use pressure and it'll well it'll take some of your distance of shooting it. This one is uh, really really strong all the PVC on it is 16 bar rated I don't know the PSI for that you can see the barrel fits t-shirts tennis balls whatever you want I usually charge it to only about 4 bar because if you put it up to 12 bar you can shoot a tennis ball probably through a wall with it won't do that now we get to the interesting part the valve now there are air guns out there with electric valves, but they have switches on the outside, which in my opinion is dangerous because if you lay it down somewhere, you hit the switch, it goes off. I'm using a high grade industrial solenoid valve. That's it. Bought it for 45 bucks. Yeah, well, it was 30 euros, so I think it is 45 bucks. It's operated on 24 volts. I'm using three 9 volt batteries all hooked up to each other so they create 9 times 3 27 volts that should do the trick this is just a battery box it's a box you can get in any electric store the only thing it does, I'm not going to open it now because it will take too long, I'll do that in the next video to show you the inside hooked up in here they go in here now you're thinking how does he fire it I did it like that, I'll turn it around and show you there's the fire button it's right in between there, so no matter how I lay it, like this, it won't fire. You can hear it. It opens the valve right away. So I'm not ball valve. It's got the batteries in it. I don't have a pressurizer right now. I'll make another video shooting it. But that's how you do it. You get it. Well, this is basically the standard layout of any air gun. You got your air compartment and the barrel. Normally here there will be a I don't know the English word for it. It's like a twist valve. This one is electric, you can hear it. There you go. So what you need is a box you can put on one corner with the batteries, a solenoid valve. The solenoid valves come in the same standard shape sizes as your tubing. This is all millimeters, so I don't know how much it will be in inches, but you can get these in any shape and size. It's a matter of installing it. 24 volts, 3 9 volt batteries, a little small box. The only thing you have to do is put the button. Put it here, and that's the main thing so it can never go off by accident. Alright, that's a short introduction of how to put it in. I'll make some other videos of how, when it's actually working, and I'll make a video of it shooting and a drive in because it glows. It's really cool. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching.